paano isolve ang geometric sequence kapag first term ang pinapahanap. Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lasa natin ngayong araw. So ngayon tuloy tayo ng usapan about kay geometric sequence and this is now part number 2. If you were not able to watch part 1, better watch it first para masundan natin kung paano ito gagawin sa part number 2. So let's start! Ayan. So last time, nag-end tayo sa challenge question na ito. What is the first term of a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 3 and the fifth term is 81? So, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito ay yung first term, yung a sub 1. Paano yon gagawin? So, let's start this topic. What is the first term of a geometric sequence with common ratio of 3 and the fifth term is 81? So, same lang din, of course, yung formula. Huwag kakalimutan etong formula na yan. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Then, Get the given. So, ang given, sa si a sub 1, meron ba? Ayan, binanggit naman. Hindi pala. So, a sub 1 ay pinapahanap. So, that is question mark. ba? Kasi first term ang pinahanap natin. Next, si r, common ratio, binanggit ba? Ayan, common ratio daw ay 3. So, 3 yan. Next, si n. Si n ay kung pang ilan yung last term. So, pang fifth. Diba? So, pang fifth, ibig sabihin, 5 ang n natin. Tapos, yung a sub n, yung last term mismo. That is 81. a sub 5 natin ay 81. Ayan. Then, let's have our solution. Paano gagawin kapag ito ang nawawala? Sige. Ayan. Write the formula. Then, substitute natin lahat ng nasa given. Ito ang mangyayari. So, si a sub 5 or a sub n na magiging 81. Then, si a sub 1 as is kasi nga wala pa siyang value. Di pa natin alam. And yung 3, yung 3 ay yung r. So, correct tayo doon. Ang n ay 5. Correct then Minus 1. Solve mo na to. Yung 5 minus 1. That is 3 raised to 4. Then, solve mo na ito. Yung 3 raised to 4. Paano yung gagawin? You're just going to multiply 3 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Apat na beses. Ang magiging result din ay 81. Tapos, etong 81 sa kayong a sub 1, multiply natin yan. Kapag magkatabi yung variable, yung pinapahanap, yung unknown, tapos number, ganito ang mangyayari. Lalagay mo lang sa unahan yung number. So, 81, a sub 1. Ayan. ba ang goal natin, matira si a sub 1, paano yung ginagawa kapag may katabing number? Yes, MPE. Multiplication property of equality. So, divide natin to by 81. Both side of the equation. So, wala na to kasi magiging 1a sub 1 na lang yan or just a sub 1. Tapos, divide na lang natin to. 81 divided by 81 ay 1. Ayan. And there you have it. a sub 1 is equal to 1. And this is now our final answer. So, ibig sabihin, nagsimula yung geometric sequence sa 1. Tapos, ang fifth term niya ay 81. So that's how you deal with the problem kapag a sub 1 na ang pinapahanap. Alright, sige. Para mas maintindihan, let's have another example. Ayan. So find the first term of a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 4 and the fourth term is 320. So formula natin, ganun ulit, kailangan sa ulo, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Then, given. So, yung given, of course, galing yun sa problem natin. A sub 1, wala pa kasi nga pinapahanap si first term. So, question mark yon. Next, ang R natin ay common ratio. Binanggit naman dito, 4 daw yung R. Then, ang N natin, kung pang ilan yung dulong term. So, fourth term is 320. So, pang-apat. 
So, 4 dapat ang n. And yung 320 is our a sub 4, or yung a sub n natin. That is 320. Ayan, so kompleto na. Let us now have our solution. Solution, don't forget, ilagay lagi si formula. Then after that, substitute natin yung nasa given. A sub 4 ay 320. Ang A sub 1 ay question mark, so as is lang yun doon. Ang R natin ay 4, so tama. Ang N natin ay 4, so tama din. Minus yung 1. Solve mo na to. 4 minus 1 is 3. That is 4 cube. Ibig sabihin ng 4 cube, you are just going to multiply 4 3 times to itself. So 4 times 4 times 4. And that will give us 64. So to multiply this, 64a sub 1 yun. Ilalagay mo lang sa unahan yung 64. Then, alam naman natin, kapag may katabi yung value na hinahanap natin, kailangan siyang i-divide dun sa number na nasa tabi niya. So divide this by 64 para mawala yung 64. Then mawawala yung 64. Then 320 divide 64, that is 5. 5 is equal to a sub 1 or a sub 1 is equal to 5. And that is now our final answer. Ayan. So, as simple as that. Now, it's your turn to answer. So, I'll give you one problem to answer. Find the first term of geometric sequence with common ratio of 2 and the sixth term is 288. I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So let us now answer this problem. Ayan, so find the first term of a geometric sequence with common ratio of 2 and the sixth term is 288. So first term ulit ang pinapahanap. So a sub 1 ay unknown. Formula natin, don't forget, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. And get the given, given natin a sub 1 ay unknown kasi pinapahanap siya. Next, r is common ratio which is 2, nabanggit naman sa problem. N ay pang ilan yung 288? Pang 6th term. So, 6 yan. Then, kung pang 6th term si 288, A sub 6 yon. A sub 6 is equal to 288. And let's have the solution. Ayan. For solution, ayan. So, copy first the formula. Then, substitute. So, A sub N natin ay 288. A sub 1 ay as is kasi unknown pa siya. Ang R ay 2, correct naman. Ang N ay 6, correct din naman. So, again, and next, eto ang isolve muna. 6 minus 1, that is 5. And after that, eto din, 2 raised to 5. Multiply mo yung 2 ng 5 beses sa sarili niya. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And we'll have 32. Tapos yung 32 times A sub 1, iuunahan mo lang yung 32. 32, A sub 1. Tapos copy lang nasa left. Tapos divide natin both sides by 32. So, kapag dinivide, this will be the answer. 9 is equal to a sub 1 or a sub 1 is equal to 9. And that was now, that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope natuto ka ngayong araw. And I want to see you in our next video. But, we are not going to end here because I'll give you another challenge question. Ayan. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence with the first term of 7 and the fifth term of 112? Pinapahalap ngayon ay yung common ratio, yung R. Paano naman kaya yon gagawin? If you want to know the answer there, I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most as well. And, huwag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag Bye-bye! See you in our next video.